Let me share with you a few Chase credit card hacks that nobody talks about. And it's really important to understand that when we talk about Chase credit card hacks, we're talking about the, the Chase Ultimate Rewards, right? So and it's really important to understand that Chase has uh, the upper hand when you think about the rewards in the credit card uh, ecosystem. And it's really important to really have a clear idea of what you're getting yourself into if you're interested in playing the, the Chase Ultimate Rewards game. So here's an overview I want you to really pay attention to. So the first thing you need to understand is that you need to have a, you need to have a clear idea how to actually uh, use your Chase Ultimate Rewards. And the, my question to you is, what kind of Chase credit cards do you have right now? Do you have uh, do you have cashback credit cards? Do you have a uh, Travel Rewards credit card? Do you have a uh, credit cards? Do you have a Chase credit card or two Chase credit cards that actually uh, help you accumulate points or perks and whatever? So you got you need to have a clear idea first the kind of credit cards you have or the, the credit cards that you are trying to get, right? And it's really important to understand that when you when you think about Chase Ultimate Rewards, you're thinking about points. And the thing is that you are earning points and these points can be converted into different types of rewards such as cashback, airline miles, merchandise, and other monetary benefits. And when thinking about the proper type of reward, you have to consider cashback the most versatile, especially if you have a family and uh, you actually uh, spend uh, in different categories. The cashback is kind of cool because cashback can be applied to your credit card to help pay for things you have already purchased. Saving type, like, you know, you can basically uh, save a lot of cash or you, you can actually redeem the cashback and deposit it into a savings account. Again, it's all about, uh, you know, really trying to really look at what really works for you. And when we talk about the, the Chase uh, Ultimate Rewards, you first need to understand that there are three cash equivalents. You have uh, gift cards, you have a statement credit, and you are able to shop on Amazon also. So the thing here is that what makes Chase Ultimate Rewards so amazing is that they don't play the typical uh, the typical rewards game. They don't change the conversion rate for gift cards based on the face value of the card. They don't make st statement credits expensive. They also do not force you to a statement credit when a deposit to your account is uh, all the same. So. What I'm trying to say here is that you need to understand first what's important for you, what's important for your family, for example, okay? And I'll I'll speak a little more about that. Little, like, uh, I will really go uh, granular and explain to you what you need to really remember when we talk about Chase Ultimate Rewards. By the way, boss, welcome back to the show. It's uh, really a pleasure to have you here. Make yourself comfortable. You are going to enjoy today's conversation. So let's first talk about spending Chase Ultimate Rewards on travel, okay? And then I'll talk about on rewards experiences, on, on cashback and other stuff. But, let, but let's first talk about travel. So the Chase Ultimate Rewards program is about travel. So it makes sense that the best use of your points is actually on travel for yourself, for your family, for for, for your colleagues. If you want to invite them, that's, that, that's totally fine. Now, there are two ways you can spend your points on travel. Transfer points to an airline or hotel partner with their own rewards programs or book on Chase's uh, Ultimate Rewards travel portal directly for flights, hotels, cruises, and car rentals. Now let's talk about transferring points to uh, partners. Now Chase has a partner with uh, more than 10 airline and hotel rewards programs and you can transfer your points over to them. So when you transfer your, your UR points over to a travel partner, we're talking about Ultimate Rewards UR. And so when you do this, you need to book travel on that travel partner's website or portal. So the current list of travel partners uh, includes you have uh, Air Langus Air Club, British Airways Execu Executive Club, Flying Blue Air, Fra Air France KLM, Iberia Plus, Korean Air SkyPass. You have uh, you, you also have Singapore Airlines Chris Flyer. You have South uh, Southwest Airlines Rapid Rewards. This is kind of important. You also have uh, United Mileage Plus. You have Virgin Atlantic Flying Club. You have. Uh, IHD Rewards Club, Merit Rewards, The Rich Carlton Rewards, and Will Hyatt. And the conversion rate is a simple one-to-one -one transfer with no fee involved, and it's uh, one way, so you can't transfer back to Chase UR, okay? And the rules stipulate that the receiving party is owned by you or someone listed as an authorized user on the account. So if you violate this, say, to sell points to somebody, somebody else, you may be forced to forfeit the points and have your account closed. So please, do not play games with this. Very, this is very important. Okay, so this is for, uh, so if you book directly. Now, booking travel via Chase Ultimate Rewards Portal. So the thing is, depending on the car that you have, 
you can get a bonus on your uh, on your spending for instance and a chase sapphire razor card offers 50 percent more a chase sapphire preferred card and uh, ink business preferred card will get you 25 percent more so it's really about the card you have and what's important for you and everyone else will get the regular pricing via the portal now it's it's, it's really important to understand that you always are constantly trying to see you have to uh, try it it's like uh you got to have a uh, trial and errors you got to have uh, a b testing and see what kind of combination works for you boss i want to quickly remind you to this topic we are having a conversation about chase credit card hacks nobody talks about and i'm really focusing on the chase ultimate rewards program Let's talk about booking Chase Ultimate Rewards experiences. So UR experiences. And the Chase UR experiences are VIP experiences that include sports, entertainment, and culinary events. And uh, this is kind of cool. And uh, so, so some of the events are specific to certain card members. For example, one of the events uh, listed the Ultimate Weekend, uh, like uh, if they have like a, a wine or sort of uh, like whatever it is, it, this can be... For, for for example, it can be for Chase Safari preferred card members, or it can be for Chase for Chase Inc preferred card members. You gotta be in certain categories to actually uh, to be invited to those uh, Chase preferred experiences. Okay, and so what are the best cards to earn Chase Ultimate Rewards in our in our research? First of all, you have the, t the Chase Freedom Unlimited. You have the Chase Safari preferred. You have the Chase Safari Reserve. The Chase Inc preferred. I mean business preferred, and you have the Chase Inc Plus business. So when we talk about the Chase Freedom Unlimited, you have 5% on travel purchases through uh, Chase Ultimate Rewards. You have 3% at drugstores and dining and restaurants, including takeout and eligible delivery services, plus 1.5% on all other purchases. And then you have the Chase Safari Preferred. This, this actually gets you a 5x points on travel purchase through Chase Ultimate Rewards. You have 3x points on dining, 2x points on all other travel purchases, 1x on uh, everything else, plus a $50 annual Ultimate Rewards Hotel credit. For the Chase Safari Reserve, you have, you have a 5x points on air travel and 10x on hotels and car rentals purchased through Chase Ultimate Rewards. You have a 3x points on other travel, 1x on everything else. And what about the Chase Inc. Business Preferred? You have 3x points on the first $150,000 spent on travel, shipping, purchases, internet, cable, and phone services, advertising purchases on social media and, and uh, SEO, so that's search engine optimization, and 1x points on everything else. And what about the Chase uh, Inc. Plus business? Here, you have a 5x points on the first $50,000 spent in office supply stores, phone, internet, and cable TV services, 2x points on the first $50,000 spent in the gas station, and uh, you have hotel ac accommodation accommodations when purchased directly with a hotel, and 1x points on everything else. Let me share with you a few things here. There are some, there are always active Chase Ultimate Rewards sign up bonus, bonus promotions. The thing is, when we talk about Chase credit card hacks, you got to look out for those promotions and really sign up for them at, at the right time. It's all about timing. It's all about timing. And uh, what we are telling our clients is that sometimes you want to sign up for it for Chase notifications. So if there is a promotion, you, you, you are the first, you're, you're among the first to actually receive uh, notifications about those things. Okay. And the thing here is that you always have not, you always have um, bonus promotion, uh, bonus promotions on the Chase Freedom Unlimited, the Chase Sapphire Preferred, the Chase Sapphire Reserve, and the Chase Inc. Business Preferred. Okay. And so there are, there, there are a lot of things you need to keep in mind here. When we talk about uh, the Chase Sapphire Reserve, for example, this, this card is kind of cool because it really earns you up to 10 points per dollar on eligible travel purchases made through Chase Ultimate Rewards. You gotta really, uh, you gotta you gotta book through Chase UR portal, okay? And points can be redeemed for uh, zero, zero, like one point, like let's say 15 cents each through the Pay Yourself Back program. And uh, with the bonus rewards and the value for points, that's the equivalent of earning 15% back. This is kind of cool. This is really cool. And you can save on travel with the Chase Sapphire Reserve. It's all about you play the game, though. It's all about you play the game. The, 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 the bottom line here is that, first of all, if you're have if you lucky to have the Chase Sapphire Reserve, this is kind of cool. It, it, what you want to do is you want to really sort of, uh, what we the way we analyze it, you want to really gather 
all your expenses, all your on your all uh, all your travel and uh, related expenses at the same time, or at least within the same amount of amount of like the same window, time window, so you can actually uh, optimize your rewards. And you if you and you have to keep doing this over and over and over to sort of bump up your Chase Ultimate Rewards funds. Okay, remember that when we talk about the bumping up your Chase Ultimate Rewards fund, there are a lot of ways you can actually use those uh, rewards funds. You can actually uh, transfer them to airline and hotel partners or redeem them for cash, okay, and at one cent per point. And uh, it's it's really one of those things where you have to always see what's available currently, what kind of a promotion Chase is uh, it's having at the moment. Plus, I want to quickly remind you of today's topic where we're having a conversation about Chase credit card hacks that nobody talks about. Let's talk a little bit about uh, how to actually uh, effectively manage your Chase credit cards over time because it's one of those things where you got to really be in a situation where you're constantly sort of managing your Chase credit cards, credit card or credit cards based on uh, the, the situation, your family situation, and also based on uh, what kind of vision you have for your Chase uh, Ultimate Rewards. And when we talk about Chase credit card hacks, it's really important to always prioritize paying on time. Because the last thing you want is to actually see, uh, you know, Chase. Like you don't, you, you do not want to, uh, you don't want to, you do, do not want to have Chase downgrade your profile. I mean, they're not going to tell you, but uh, you know, you do not want to miss any payments. So you want to prioritize paying on time all the time because this is how you're going to uh, increase your credit score, of course, but also increase the, the the kind of credit limit that Chase allocates your account. Okay, and uh, what you want to do also is that if you are looking for actually playing the, the Chase credit card games properly, you want to try to pay more than the more than the, the minimum every single month. So because the whole thing is paying the minimum amount due on, on your credit card, your Chase credit card, or or other credit cards for that matter, will uh, cover your interest charges, fees, and a small percentage of your balance. However, this is not an effective credit card management strategy for a few reasons. When you continuously make only your minimum payments, your balance may continue building and accruing interest, right? So paying off your entire your entire balance each month could ensure you pay no interest together. I mean, altogether, if you can really afford it, because there has to be an element of uh, budgetary implications too. And you want to actually create, if you want to uh, actually uh, have fun with your Chase credit card re ultimate reward strategy, you want to create a budget and stick to it. And stick to it. Why? Because the whole thing is that you know, actually pursuing your Chase uh, Ultimate Rewards uh, plans is going to make you actually uh, spend some cash. And but see, but those expenses are well are well served because they they serve you increase your Chase UR points. But if you don't have a strategy, if you don't if you don't have a budget, you're not going to be able to have the vision that can help you actually, uh, you know, accumulate those points as soon as possible. So setting and following a budget will help many areas of, of your financial health. And budgets don't have to be very complex. I mean, you know, don't actually reinvent the wheel. Just uh, you have a lot of apps out there that can really make things a lot of easy for you. Another thing you want to do here is to review your, your Chase credit card statements. And the thing is, if you are trying to, uh, like the, one of the best Chase credit card hacks that will, nobody talks about is that you know, you're thinking that the, your Chase credit card statement is actually accurate. Yes, I mean, 99% is accurate, but it doesn't it doesn't really sort of hurt for you to to uh, review your credit card, your Chase credit card statement to see if everything is, is fine. OK, reviewing each credit card statements can help you maintain your budget each month because it helps you track your expenses. Perhaps the better reason to check your Chase statement each month is to make sure all your listed transactions are legitimate, right? This can help you detect credit card fraud or identity theft. So if you spot anything unfamiliar, call the Chase immediately to dispute the charges. You also need to uh, be in a situation where you want to develop good spending habits. I mean, obviously, I understand you, you are trying to accumulate your, your Chase Ultimate Rewards point. That makes sense. So you can actually uh, parlay those points into uh, travel and hotel and, and accommodation uh, you know of all sorts that's totally fine but you gotta have good spending habits and good good spending habits are great for the long run anyway so it's easy to spend freely when you can spread the payments out your transactions are usually categorized in your chase credit card activity so this could actually highlight which expenses are increasing or which purchases are causing you to overspend 
every single month, okay? That's most of what's required to develop good spending habits and evaluating your spending each month then making adjustments. You also want to uh, review your, your credit reports. If you're trying to really uh, increase your Chase Ultimate Rewards strategy, you want to make sure that your, your credit score is, is still, is still, is still uh, decent, even more than decent, okay? And because your credit report tells the story of your credit health, it includes all your credit accounts, their standings, and payment histories. So reviewing your credit reports can help you better understand credit card management. That includes helping you identify accounts and activity you don't recognize. It's a, always a great idea to check your credit report at least once a year. Now, we tell our clients and, and all our viewers to actually, to actually, uh, sorry, let me, uh, so to actually check their uh, credit reports at least once a quarter. So if you check it once a quarter, if there's a problem, you you have a great you have a great chance of uh, spotting that problem a little early. Another thing you want to do here in terms of your Chase credit card hacks is that on all the Chase credit cards that you have, the Chase Ultimate Rewards. If you if your goal is to uh, convert your Chase Ultimate Rewards properly, you want to spend it, you want to actually book Chase Ultimate Rewards experience, please make sure that you always maintain a low credit utilization ratio. And this is what we are talking about, at least 30% of your, of your utilization ratio is basically helping you understand what, what really matters, okay? It's one of those things where you have to be in a situation where you're constantly trying to make sure that you do not overspend. Because you, you are giving the right signal to Chase and telling them, hey, listen, I am, uh, I am, I'm a good spender. I am a responsible spender. I know exactly what, I, what I'm spending money on. And you want to use cashback or rewards, for example. It's one of those things where cashback and rewards program are a great way to earn uh, while you're spending. And rewards, especially the Chase Ultimate Rewards, are often the main, a main uh, selling point of Chase credit cards. And so the thing is with Chase Ultimate Rewards, you can earn points and redeem them for travel, gift cards, cashback, and more, okay? For example, you can reduce uh, some of your credit card balance by redeeming your rewards as a statement credit. And uh, so earning the rewards is one thing, redeeming them is another. So it's important to remember to redeem your points for the options available to you. And also uh, what you wanna do uh, constantly is you wanna, you wanna look at your debt level, right? If need be, you want to consolidate lab, uh, your, your debt. It's all about, again, it's all about managing your debt and bringing it to a responsible or to a decent level. At the end of the day, you are going you are only responsible for for your overall debt even if you are looking for chase credit card hacks credit card hacks you still need to make sure your other debt is being taken care of i mean otherwise you can actually uh like do great on one end and then you actually sabotaging your your overall your level of indebtedness is sabotaging the great work you're doing on uh, one end and you will never reap the benefits of a chase ultimate reward so please pay attention to the, to the debt level and make sure that 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 is at a uh, decent level. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. In today's conversation, I was just talking to you about uh, Chase credit cards nobody talks about, and uh, so I spoke to you about the Chase Ultimate, uh, the Chase credit card hacks. And I was talking to you about, for instance, uh, the Chase Ultimate Rewards, how to redeem points, how to how to actually convert them, how to uh, how to accumulate them, and I also gave you a few hacks in terms of managing your Chase credit card on a single day. Thank you so much. God bless you. I'll speak to you another time. Until then, remember, stay marvelous.